We've seen examples of what happens when a tiger loses its pigmentation, but what about the opposite when a tiger has excess pigmentation? Well, typically the condition where an animal has an abundance of pigmentation is known as melanism. It's the same condition that gives us black leopards and black jaguars, collectively known as black panthers. However, true melanism has not been observed in tigers, but we have seen tigers displaying pseudomelanism, also known as abundism. Pseudomelanistic tigers, sometimes called black tigers, are also a result of recessive gene, causing their stripes to become wider and sometimes merged. But this isn't a case of true melanism as they still have their iconic orange fur, just bigger stripes. Pseudomelanism has also been documented in other cat species like cheetahs, giving us king cheetahs, domestic cats, as well as leopards and jaguars, giving these weird blotchy spots. Currently, India is the only place in the world you can see pseudomelanistic tigers, wild or captive. I can only find three zoos with a handful of pseudomelanistic tigers, all born within captivity. So they haven't been extensively bred in captivity, at least not yet anyways. Pseudomelanistic tigers are just as rare in the wild, only being found in Samilipal National Park in Odisha, India. In 2014, over a dozen of the estimated 24 adult tigers in the park were thought to be pseudomelanistic. Just like with the golden tigers of Kaziranga, it's been proposed that inbreeding and genetic drift being the result of the high numbers of pseudomelanistic tigers within this park, both of which are likely due to the high degree of relatedness in Samilipal's tiger population, as well as the tiger population being very small and isolated. To alleviate the concerns of inbreeding, two female tigers have since been introduced into the park to help increase the genetic diversity and mitigate the impacts of inbreeding. These black tigers do go to show how important it is to monitor genetics and conservation, especially with the amount of habitat fragmentation we have nowadays restricting gene flow between populations.